I want to start off with a quick apology for this because you guys, I'm really sorry about what I've done. We're doing another shell challenge and this one is... It, um... <laughs> It's a shell challenge, a Simsy shell challenge. I'm sorry, but today I have built a weird box and yet again I am tasking you with turning it into a real build. This is the box we've got to work with. Uh, it's on a 30 by 20 lot. It's got two weird diagonal bits. I've been told it looks a bit like a fish, which wasn't my intention, but it, it seems to have happened that way. <laughs> it's two stories. There's only one weird wall on the inside. And if you guys don't know how these things work, essentially I built this weird box now you have to make it into a build, but you can't change my existing shell. So what that means is, you can't move any of my existing walls. You can't make them bigger, you can't make them smaller, you can't delete this one, you can't change them into half walls instead. My shell has to stay the same. That's why it's called a shell challenge. <laughs> you can, of course, add fences and half walls. You can add a roof, you can put a floor plan on the inside. You just have to keep all of my existing walls in the exact same place. So you can't move them. Oh my god, I moved one. You, you, you can't do that. You can't delete this, okay? You are, of course, again, allowed to add half walls on the outside. You could use them sort of like fences to make a balcony. You just can't change the walls that I have into half walls because that's, that's changing my walls. And the only rule of this challenge is to not touch my walls. You can make the walls taller, you can make them shorter, you can rotate the lot however you want, you can put it on as big of a lot as you want. Um, one of my biggest apologies though is the fact that you can't actually rotate this on a 30 by 20 lot, it doesn't fit, so you're gonna have to put it on a bigger lot if you want to do it this way. I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have done quite a few of these challenges, I'll link my past ones down below and the ones where I've toured your builds, because the fun part of this is that I make one, you all make one, and then in a few days, I'm gonna make a video where I tour some of the best ones, which is the most fun part of a shell challenge, to be honest. We get to see cool builds that are better than ours. <laughs> I'm serious, the past videos of the tours are so worth watching, I'll link them down below for you. The gallery is actually down right now, so I'm gonna have to show you my shell challenge from my library, but you can see it's on the gallery, it's on my page, my origin ID is just Lil Simsy. You just grab the shell off the gallery, upload it with the hashtag SimsyShell4, and then eventually I'll get to looking at them and stuff. I'm gonna tour these on Monday on YouTube. That's Monday the 2nd of March. I know it's a quick turnaround, that's kind of on purpose, because in the past there have been like hundreds, sometimes thousands of entries, and I, I can't look at them all, and so I'm trying to make it so um you have less time. So you have to do it faster. <laughs> so that hopefully less people will do it, but you still have the weekend and a few days to get it done. I'm sorry. I really am. I usually give you like two weeks to do it, so this is a, this is a very different sort of shell challenge this time. We're testing the waters. I want to quickly show you guys though what I built. Would you believe that this is the exact same shell? <laughs> because it is! You can see my weird diagonals, you can see all the weird boxes. Obviously I've added roof pieces and stuff, you can do that. All of the walls are the same on the outside, I didn't move any of them. That one weird wall, it's right here. That's the one that you weren't allowed to move. <laughs> but I turned mine into a four bedroom house. Almost could be five if you count this little study as a bedroom. But it's a four bedroom, three bathroom house. It's pretty big, to be honest. And I think it turned out really cute. I was kind of proud of myself. I'm gonna be real. I, I liked it. I liked the balconies in the back. Tudor houses are like one of my favorite kind of houses to build. I had a lot of fun doing this. And I, I based the entire design off of wanting to use this window from Laundry Day. I'm not kidding. This window was the inspiration for the entire thing. <laughs> but of course we have a quick speed build of me doing this house. You guys, I cut out a lot of this. It took me way too long to build this house. I don't know what it was. I think it's just something about shell challenges where like it takes forever to make them look right because you aren't allowed to move the walls and usually when things aren't working it's like oh let's change the walls a little bit and fix it but you aren't allowed to so it's so much fiddling to try and make it work properly. So um it was, it was quite the process. <laughs> I cut out literally all of the landscaping. I didn't even record most of the exterior building that I did. I mean, I cut out things like adding columns and stuff to try and save some time in the video, because like, it was way too long. It was embarrassingly long. I did stream this though, myself building it. I built the shell on stream and then I built my house for the shell on stream. I stream every day on Twitch. It's twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy. If you want to check out my streams, I'm just saying. I mean, like, I'm kind of fun. You can hang out with me for like three hours later. I'm just saying. <laughs> But yeah, we built this on stream, so I had a lot of help from the chat with stuff, which is kind of cool, because it's kind of fun to have, like, second opinions on things, because I, like, I liked this, but, like, what if it was awful and embarrassing? And then I posted it on YouTube, and I would have embarrassed myself. That would have been bad, so <laughs> luckily I had you guys there to help me. But I tried to do something cool with the roof, because I didn't want it to be, like, boring. 
and I didn't want it to be a suburban because I was sick of you guys making fun of me for that because listen, I can build other things. I just like suburban houses for gameplay, but I, I can't, I'm capable of building other things. Okay, look. <laughs> I built this, okay? This is like one of my favorite kind of houses. I love Windenburg. The style of Windenburg is beautiful. It's like my literally my favorite kind of architecture. So I, I like to build this sort of house. But you can see um, we just jumped ahead to like the whole house being painted and stuff because it needed it. It was just, it took me too long to figure out like where I wanted certain pieces because the fun part about this wallpaper from Get Together is that it has like a bunch of different types. So you have like this main like color swatch, right? But you have like all these different panels that go different directions and like different patterns of panels and so I painted the whole house with one like default panel and then I went in and I added all these sort of different little like detail pieces and it took me way too long to do and I was like you don't need to see me trying to decide where to put this weird diagonal piece like you <laughs> you don't care about that so I just cut it all out I think the more important part is the floor plan for stuff like this because we all know how to place some columns down you know but when it comes to things like floor plans that's where it gets a little bit tricky, and I'm gonna be honest, I had a hard time with this one as well. The staircase was one of my biggest concerns with this house, because I wanted to have a really big staircase, but I couldn't get it to work right, partially because of that stupid wall upstairs that I put down. I did it to myself, <laughs> but I couldn't get it to work how I wanted it to because of that wall, and then I couldn't get it to work how I wanted it to because of like these weird diagonal pieces, and so I just put like a small staircase by the front door, and I ended up having like a bunch of living room space in this house. There's like a small like piano room in the entry and then you walk into the dining room and the kitchen and then you have a living space on the far side of the house there's also a study and a bedroom and a bathroom downstairs i figure like the, the bedroom downstairs could be a guest bedroom or something maybe like grandma's bedroom if she lives here with you and then you could have your parents upstairs and the master then they have two kids rooms upstairs as well so i'm just saying it's kind of a big house. Like, it's kind of a good family house. Like, I, I think a lot in my, about Sims gameplay as far as, like, legacy stuff goes. So a lot of times I build houses that have space for, like, grandma to live with you. <laughs> and, and, you know, for you to have, like, extra generations staying in your house with you. Because a lot of times when I play The Sims, I, like, grandma's not dead yet. And she has to stay with me still, you know? <laughs> I think the hardest part for me, though, was figuring out where to put the kitchen. Because you kind of need to have, like, adequate wall space for the kitchen. But the doors to the bedroom and the bathroom were kind of in the way. And then I wanted to have a big, like, light colored dining room with a lot of windows but there wasn't enough space with windows and I was like where do I put everything but I kind of figured it out in the end it took some fiddling I cut out the fiddling because it's embarrassing to like spend like three minutes in a recording building something and then just delete all of it so I, I yeah I cut that out I mean it's not worth watching right if it's not going to be the final product anyway so that <laughs> that's not there anymore and the whole house kind of has this like reddish beige color scheme that sounds bad i tried to use a lot more red accents than i usually would a lot of times my builds have a lot of um blue accents which you may have noticed <laughs> in my uh, many blue suburbans that i have built but this one has more red in it which i kind of enjoyed because i never use the color red really ever i also use a lot of realm of magic stuff which is kind of fun because i like never use realm of magic i um i like the pack there's some fun build items in it i just I don't know, I, I don't really find that those things fit into my build style that much, but like the bed from All of Magic fits perfectly in this house. So the master bedroom has that crazy canopy bed. I used the cool chairs inside of the living room. So that was kind of fun. I wanted to have living room have like a nice sitting area that like very much featured the fancy window because that laundry day window is incredible. <laughs> I never use it because I don't really build things that like fit that style very often because like I always have short wall height and it's a medium wall height window and I don't know it just doesn't really work with most of my builds but this time I, I'm serious. I went through and I had to change the entire wood tone of the whole house. You missed this part because I cut it out because it was embarrassing. But I had like a black colored wood tone, but this stupid laundry window doesn't have very many good wood color swatches on it. And so I couldn't get it to match anything properly. And so I picked that like reddish colored wood tone, changed all the columns, all the windows, all the wallpaper, everything to match it properly. <laughs> and then I used it. I, I changed everything to fit that window and then that reddish kind of wood color sort of inspired the red accents inside the house like that window genuinely defined everything I did in the entire build. <laughs> I think one of the most fun parts though about a shell challenge is that I made this house but you could take this shell and make it into a restaurant or like a gym or you know an Ikea <laughs> or you can make it into a cool modern house or like an alien house. I mean you could turn this shell into anything. That's the whole point of the shell challenge and so it's so fun to like look at these builds and tour your finished builds and see like how vastly different they are from what I've done. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing your finished products. For the record again it's Hashtag Simsy Shell 4 
on the gallery number four um, like you know the number don't don't write out four it's not like f o u r okay it's the number four <laughs> Simsy Shell four on the gallery and then I can tour them and stuff but yeah that's that's the most important part is if you want me to see it you gotta share it but keep in mind when I tour these I'm gonna probably tour like ten in the YouTube video I make about it and so um I'm expecting to get a few hundred people that have entered um, that's more than 10 so I, I won't get to tour all of yours on YouTube of course I'm sorry I wish that I could but I'm not gonna make like a 12 hour long video I'm sorry I mean I mean I could but like that I don't know I feel like you wouldn't want to watch that I mean I could be wrong but I personally would not watch myself tour Simsy shell builds for 12 hours. I I'm too boring for that. Please don't agree in my comments I'll get upset. You aren't allowed to call me boring. I'm I'm too fragile for that <laughs> I have an important question for you though And this might be kind of dumb, but I'm serious in the comments You have to tell me because in my sims bathrooms, okay? I please take me seriously in my sims bathrooms I always just get so bored of decorating them And I think they're like so boring that I kind of just pick one style of bathroom like I'll do the downstairs bathroom I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna use that floor that wall and all of the these objects same decorations same everything and then I basically just remake that same bathroom for the rest of the bathrooms in the house and I think that's kind of normal in real life to have all your bathrooms be like the same style because most house builders when they make the house will just sort of like put the same stuff in the whole bathroom everywhere but like I think a lot of times also though like the kids bathroom might be different especially as far as decoration goes um, not in my builds I don't do that do you do you actually pay attention to your sims bathrooms? That's what I need to know. Is it just me that doesn't care? Because I fully like cut them out of my speed builds every time. I don't even bother recording my bathrooms half the time. Like I'll go in and I'll like do the bathrooms and then start recording again because I feel like it's pointless to even include them because they're all just the same. And they're not even like a good same. They're just like a fine same. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I'm sorry. We'll get back to the bathrooms in a second. I have a professor. So my... <laughs> My first discussion post of the semester, she wrote back and she had to hold these comments and she said, great discussion, and I got a 98, right? I was proud of myself. I was like, wow, good for me. That's in my Chinese civilization class. I'm, I'm a history major, right? My next discussion post, her comment, all it said was fine discussion, and I got a 90. Fine? It was fine? What do you mean it was fine? I don't know why I was like, <laughs> I was like, I felt slighted by that. I was like, fine? It was fine? Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Gotta stop saying fine. But yeah, I thought that was kind of funny how she she just said fine discussion. <laughs> not even, I mean, like, she didn't even need to say anything about that, to be honest. You could have just not said anything, and then I would have been fine. See, I keep saying fine, but I, I do a lot of discussion posts for schoolwork. That's most of my homework is, like, writing discussion posts. But her discussion posts are 800 words. So it's not even, that's not a discussion post at that point. I'm sorry, I don't know how to tell you this, but that is not a discussion post. That's an essay. But you post one discussion board, so it's a discussion post. But anyway, I wrote a fine one, so. That was like four weeks ago and I'm still hung up on it. Can you tell? I just thought it was funny, okay? I'm sorry. Anyway, the bathrooms. Mine are fine. I have fine bathrooms in my builds. I've seen people that make nice bathrooms, like really high quality, cluttered, decorated, cool bathrooms. Not me. I, d I don't do anything interesting in my Sims bathrooms ever. One interesting thing I do, though, that I, I think is a very important part of this build is the fact that so much of the lighting in this game is such a bad color tone. Like, obviously these chandeliers are sort of yellow because they're candles, and candles kind of have that, like, yellow light, um, but I don't like them. <laughs> and so I had to move a sim in here. You'll see me keep going in and out of build mode to change the light colors, because I want, like, a sort of yellow, but, like, a lighter, more white <laughs> yellow. <laughs> I don't want, like, a super warm yellow. I want a cooler toned yellow, um, very ever so slightly yellow, because when the whole house is like yellow yellow, I think it looks bad. Like, I don't like that color tone of lighting, and so I just didn't even bother to use it. I, I didn't include it. I changed it. Isn't it so annoying that you can't change the light color in build mode? Like, why can't I click on the light and change the brightness and color of it in build mode? Because you have to bring a sim here, move them in, and then make the lights green, and then make, you know, but why, why can't I do it in build mode? It's so frustrating. It's not a big deal. But like, when I build like places like a, a nightclub, say in The Sims, I have to bring a sim there. I can't just do it from world edit mode, from free, like the free build, whatever. I have to like bring a sim there and then do it. It's so frustrating. <laughs> And when you're building a house, you have to have a sim living here, so your money is constantly going down. You gotta keep cheating it. If you're me and, and building a very expensive house, you gotta keep doing mother load. It's just... Maybe someday, 
we will finally have the ability to do that from within build mode, but today is not that day. Anyway, Simsy Shell 4, I'm touring them on Monday. I'll see you guys then. <laughs> Please show me your builds. I'm so excited for you to try this challenge. I'm also sorry that I created this challenge. I think it's like not the hardest one, but not the easiest one yet, right? Right? It's mid-range. It's a mid-range shell challenge. <laughs> but please make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those funny YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. I want- I'm gonna keep saying it. I really want to apologize to you guys. I'm sorry that I did this. I really am.